Welcome to the 10th video illustrating the block series end-to-end -end scenario using BOPF, SADL, Gateway and SubUI 5. My name is Thea Hillenbrand and I will guide you through the implementation of the edit functions in the UI, avoiding the pitfalls described in the previous video. Introducing edit features comes with some restructuring measures. Using too much logic in the view makes the code quite confusing. So we are going to work with the fragment technique. Let's just illustrate the effect. We start the application and select the product. When we press the Edit Product button, the view changes completely. It is replaced by a different fragment. As we will not come back to the demo again at the end of the video, we are going through the update features now. You can see that the price as well as the product name can be modified. The same for the business partner. The view changes and you can modify the data, even the one which caused the trouble. And last but not least, you can create new products. That's our actual target. Let's start with the fragments. In the Project Explorer of the SAP Development Tools for Eclipse, you can see three new files, a display fragment, a product, and a business partner edit fragment. The original detail view is now nearly empty. We introduced some edit buttons and the handle functions, but the content tag is empty. The original code has been moved to the display fragment. To indicate that it is only a view fragment, the embracing tag is fragment definition. The fragment to edit the business partner has no particularities. The only difference to the display fragment is that we work with input tags instead of text tags and that we separated the street and building into two fields. This format is more convenient to handle the input. Similar for the product edit fragment. But there is one particularity. We introduce some logic and the view. The category is read only if the user had selected one and did not start creating a new product on the initial page. So far for the definition of fragments. We handle the replacement of fragments in the details controller. But prior to this, we go quickly through the products controller. Maybe you remember that the context for the detail view has been set in the list item triggered function in the product controller. As we need business partner details, we have to expand the access path with the navigation property business partner. And now to the main work in the details controller. First, we will complete the fragment handling. In the onInit function, we set the display fragment as default. When the user has pressed the Create or Update button, we exchange the fragment. The name of the file is composed in a helper function. That's it. We continue with the handling of the product update. We have to distinguish between Create and Update. In the update case, the context is defined and the expression our context is true. With my background, it took me some time to perceive this as an expression, but it is one. We first update the product header data using the content of the input fields. In case of successful execution of the update request, we continue updating the product name. Otherwise, we send an error message. To update the product name, or fetch the path to the name instance using the navigation property product name 02 and access the metadata of the request to get the direct link via the product name entity set. The rest is the same as for the product header update. You may wonder why this piece of code is working. In the previous videos, I didn't stop insisting on the fact that the HTTP requests are executed asynchronously but the default for modifying request is a synchronous execution. 
The product creation and the business partner update follow the same model. First update the root node, then the secondaries. And at the end of the controller, we implemented the helper functions for the fragment handling. So far for the application, basically it works, but it lacks of many usability features and it could be somehow more delightful. Some of these features will be introduced in the next video.